So VC VRAC, pretty neat. I uh, got a digital oscillator, but you know what? That's not quite obnoxious enough for us. So let's dump the digital oscillator, uh, create a more obnoxious one, a Zox Noxious oscillator with around a 3340 analog IC chip and come up with uh, some environment to build that around. So we pull in a Raspberry Pi with USB MIDI, USB audio to translate to and from the board. And here's a little demo of what we got. All right, so what do we got here? We have a uh, Raspberry Pi Zero right over here along this mess. We've got uh, a power supply from USB. It provides plus minus 12 along with the plus five output. Over here we've got a custom board uh, with contains a 3340 oscillator. Uh, the spaghetti between the two does I squared C level shifting from the Pi's 3.3 volts to the board's 5 volt I squared C. Uh, the primary interface, it's I squared C along with a uh, SPI interface, SPI for uh, the DAC. We operate a 12-bit digital, digital to analog converter at 4 kilohertz to get all the control voltage signals. And what, let's take a look at the scope here. Uh, scope's upper trace is the uh, output from the oscillator, the sawtooth. The lower trace is the control voltage for the frequency on the input. And we can take a look at the same thing in the V-Rack. We can up the control voltage to the input. The oscillator's frequency goes up, as you'd expect. And it tracks pretty good too here. We got at one volt, we're looking at, see, got 38 hertz right there. If I double that to two volts, we're at 77 hertz. Uh, double that to, or add another volt from 77 hertz, we get 154. So doing pretty good on tracking one volt per octave. Uh, let's take a look at what we can do with uh, LFO here. So let's grab an LFO, put a sine wave over to the frequency input. Like we're clipping right there, so let's bring that down a bit. Punch it up to, uh, say, 102 hertz. So this 102 hertz control voltage, going to, we can see that it's 102 hertz on the LFO and VCB rack, 102 hertz on the scope here. We're doing pretty good when uh, Linux doesn't reschedule schedule this late or anything like that, so doing pretty good all the way up to, let's see, let's get up to 400 hertz. That's pretty good. We're reporting 400 hertz on the scope. A little closer look at that. That's mildly amusing. Let's take that off. Let's take a look at some of the other stuff we got going on here. Uh, we've got. We can do all the typical sequencing stuff. I'm using all the fundamental modules from BCD Rack. Modulate the pulse width of the square wave. Got a linear input to try to modulate that around a little bit. Clipping lights show if we're outside the range of the digital to analog converter. So the, the range of the digital analog converter might not be the same as VCD rack stuff, so hence the clipping lights there. Uh, other stuff, we can use the external signal to modulate stuff, so let's set up a... The only signal I've got is uh, from the signal generator here. We can route that over to, say, uh, exponential FM. Control the output of that. And all the other kind of modulation uh, options you'd expect from an oscillator. You can do hard sync. You can do hard sync.
hard to sync with, uh, change the phase on what part of the signal we sync on. That's the, uh, comparator. That's kind of amusing. Uh, we've got a triangle wave output. It's a little bit quieter. I need to up the signal on that a bit. Sawtooth. And for just for grins, I added a comparator output. Compared the input signal to the modulation signal. Uh, we got two different out. We got one output here that has a variety of mix functions. So you can put in the pulse on or off. Triangle goes through a VCA. Saw has a, a low and a high level. Uh, there's a second output, which is a little more boring, just has a pulse and a saw, but hey, you get a little option there. And, yeah, that's, that's the big deal here. So thanks for watching.